how to get texture packs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition in 2024. We're going to be going over everything you need to know in this video. Now, I do want to mention we're also going to be showing you how to get resource packs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition because resource packs and texture packs are the exact same thing. So if you want one, you want the other. They're the same thing, and I will use them interchangeably in this video, as well as you'll see different things like here it says resource packs. In Minecraft, it will actually say resource packs, but I may say texture packs. They're the exact same thing. So nevertheless, first things first, we want to download a texture pack. And in the description down below, there's a link to here, which is our list of five amazing Minecraft Bedrock Edition resource packs. There's a ton of great ones on this list here. We're going to go ahead and grab John Smith Legacy, and we're also going to grab Doku Craft. These are two of my favorites. Clicking the download button on these will take you off to the download page for each of them, but every download process is different. For example, for Doku Craft here, we want to select which one we want. I'm going to go ahead and get the Doku Craft High texture pack. And then we want to make sure that we're downloading for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. As you can see, there it is, download pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. When you click on that, the download will begin. And while that's downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. Start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. It's super quick and super easy to set your server up and start playing it. You can do add-ons. You can customize your server however you want. And if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Host and get the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz sgh and start your Minecraft Bedrock Edition server the simple way. Nevertheless, if we look here, we can see that the download has begun. Now, if you are on Minecraft for iOS or Android, you're on a mobile device, if you can click on the download right as it downloads and is finishing downloading, it will open up Minecraft and install the pack. That's the best way to do it in my opinion. So if you can click on it right in your browser on iOS or Android, do that. If you can't for whatever reason, you need to use the files app on iOS or download a file manager app on Android in order to be able to access the file, click on it to open it with Minecraft. Unfortunately, that is required. As far as downloading John Smith Legacy though, the process is similar. We want to make sure we're downloading the Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Click the download link there and the download will begin. Again, if you are on iOS or Android, go ahead and click on it right in your browser. Otherwise, if you're on PC, it's super easy to install as well. All we need to do is minimize our browser and locate the file. Most likely, it's going to be in your downloads folder, which we can see is right here. And there they are, DokuCraft High and John Smith Legacy. To install these, just double click on them. So double click on DokuCraft. Minecraft will now open up and it will start installing the pack. Now, used to, it would tell you it was installing the pack, but since 1.20 Minecraft, it's not done that it just uh, opens up and basically works right it just it's installed now the only way you would know that is by going and checking but let's go ahead and install the other pack here John Smith legacy by double clicking on that and again no indication it's installed, but it is. If we go into settings now, we'll be able to scroll on the left-hand side to global resources. And then under the My Pack section, we can see John Smith Legacy and Doku Craft. To enable these, well, from the main menu, you want to go to settings. On the left-hand side, scroll down to global resources, go to My Packs, and then click on the pack you want to activate. We'll go ahead and start off with John Smith Legacy and click activate. Now, if we go and hit escape, go back to the main menu, it's going to reload Minecraft. And when it does that, the texture pack is going to be installed and working. There we go. It is now reloading and John Smith Legacy is installed. We can play Minecraft with it and it will, it'll be working. Now, there is another way that you can install resource packs. You can actually install them on a per world basis, basically meaning that you can have one world with John Smith Legacy and another world that has Doku Craft as the texture pack. And depending on which world you play depends on which texture pack you use so as you can see here this is in fact john smith legacy but let's go ahead and turn this off let's uninstall it if you will or unactivate it by going into settings global resources and unactivating it here from the active packs by clicking deactivate and then we want to go ahead and add doku craft but instead of adding it to where it takes over the entire game let's just add it to this specific world so here's our world click the little edit icon here and then on the left hand side go to resource packs then under my packs, you'll have all the resource packs you have installed. We're going to activate Doku Craft in this world. And now we can go ahead and click play. We'll see as the world loads that the texture pack is going to load up as well. It's going to reload. The menus will change and everything while we're loading in here. But when we go back to the main menu, they won't be active anymore. There we go. Doku Craft is now active. That's really, really cool and a great way to use specific resource packs with specific worlds if you don't want to have every, like one global resource pack that works and everything. But as you can see there, Doku Craft is now installed. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but you now know exactly how to get texture packs in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you've got any questions, we'll be more than happy to help you out, and I'm out. Peace.